America's at its best when it thinks big and then mobilizes to get a job done. And that's why I have joined with uh, John Hope Bryant and Dr. Bernice King uh, to work with this project under Operation Hope, and it's called 5117. Now, the first five is five million young people that we intend to teach the basic rules of money, the language of money, how the economy works. So it'll be basic financial education for five million young people, and then one million of these young people are going to have an opportunity to actually work with us on a project that we call Business in a Box, uh, working with local businesses, with our banking community, and with the, with the Gallup polling organization. Uh, Jim Clifton of Gallup uh, has surveyed the entire planet, 150 countries every month for the last four or five years. And every single country and every single poll says that the primary issue is jobs. Well, how do you create jobs? By and large, people create jobs. And people create jobs with their own ideas and their own understanding of the needs of their community. Big business doesn't create most jobs. It's small business. And the most active time in our lives, the time when we think the most creatively, is between 12 and 25. And so we're going to be working with middle school and up young people, helping them to start about thinking their own businesses and helping them through the business in a box. Now, we will also have a thousand financial literacy centers operating in our communities and within our banks. And so it'll be hope inside the bank. It'll be entrepreneurial centers in our communities, uh, giving guidance as to how we can make businesses work. Now, the final seven is maybe the most important because you need a 700 credit score. Right now, most of us don't realize how important it is to pay bills on time and not to take on any more debt that we can handle. And so our effort is going to be to teach the rules of the game to our communities. And so with five million young people learning these rules, with a million of them having an opportunity to think about and start their own businesses, with a thousand centers entrepreneurial centers in the banking community and in the community as a whole, we think we can raise this credit score of our communities uh, to the 700 level. Now, it's going to be very hard to get a job in the near future with uh, less than, well, let's just face it. Your credit score is probably every bit as important, if not more important, than the grades you made in school. <laughs> now, I'm not taking anything away from school, but nobody's ever asked me my grades. But any time I want to borrow money, or any time I want to get a house, or any time I'm looking for a job, somebody's going to check to see what my credit score is. We want in 5117 to give our young people 
and our elders an opportunity to play the financial game that everybody else is playing on a level playing field and play to win. We're a nation of winners. We're a people who come against great odds and we take on those odds and we usually find a way to overcome. I wanna thank John Bryant and Operation Hope and I wanna thank Dr. Bernice King for investing their time, their talents in helping us to finish the part of Martin Luther King's dream that we didn't get around to in his lifetime. We talked about racism, we talked about war, and he gave his life working for those, but we didn't do much about poverty. And it's poverty that needs to be addressed now. And the only way you can address poverty is by understanding money. So thank you, God bless you, and the struggle is just beginning.